we always speak on information and research product of information and research from my judgments my conclusions and my predictions i use information and research and you don't know what it costs me including sleepless nights i don't use emotion so you may not agree because facts usually have dimensions that not everybody agree with but don't use emotion to follow me just use an open mind to follow and take notes so if you want to respond respond appropriately hmm? by not uh, okay somebody says say you saw yoruba joe okay yeah, is it okay so yoruba okay i will mix it i will mix it so as to accommodate because most of the people following this Igbo host case are largely Yoruba speaking audience. So I'll try as much as possible to, to speak a little bit of Yoruba, okay? To speak a little bit of Yoruba language. Oh, not a little bit. I'll mix, I'll blend it well. So the topic I want to speak on is multivariate, but I have just decided, multi decided, we can compress it. See, just the simple one. We, Am I expend energy in your football or Fulani? Fulani is a very tiny problem. It's a very small challenge that you can defeat. In fact, every community, if every community organizes, hmm, you will banish Fulani. Fulani is a very cheap, they are weak. Ask communities that have organized against them from history. You will know that Fulani headsmen are very weak if you confront them. Yeah, I will mix it. I know not everybody understands you, but you know, if you confront them, they are very weak. That is why everywhere they have been faced and challenged, they don't last there. Eastern Security Network faced them in the East. They have now started, you know, scampering and they are now migrating. They are now migrating to the southwest. It is even now easier to confront them and banish them. How? Because the government has not even made a law, policies against open grazing. So it makes it even easy to banish them. So it's a microcosm, very small, minute problem, Nifulani. But where the challenge is, and that is where I want to salute Sunday Iguhu. He has stimulated people. What he, what he provoked thought you know, what he, what he wake and when you're up. You don't have to wait for government. If they are failed, you can actually begin to organize by yourself as a community and start banishing killer headsmen from your community. Uh -uh. We have organized com communally before and stamped out uh, armed robbers. We used to burn tires middle of the night. Anytime we heard that arm robbers, whenever arm robbers were disturbing us on our communities, we would do vigilante hmm, and banish them. They don't have to be full and this is banditry. It's men banditry. But the question you guys are now asking is who are the owners? I've said it repeatedly. Owners of these cows, they are the military generals, your government people that you don't want to face, you don't want to have problem with. They are the big, big people in the society. Now them get those cows. They are introducing it to them. Say, ah, cow business is ah, kilo do worry. Ah, cow business is good though. Cow business is good though. They are the ones buying the cows. Who knows the amount they sell cow now? Who knows the amount? Like, how much do you buy cow now? Now, imagine I bought small, small cows and I give to some poor, full and yet men. I give them guns to protect my cow. By the time I want to start selling the cow, and I have 100 cows, do you know how rich I am? You guys are not looking at it from the dimension of capitalist problem. You know, you are not looking, some, somebody say a cow is 950,000. Imagine somebody has 100 cows. 
and gave to Fula and it to be grazing. And gave them guns to protect my investment. You are not looking at Fulani as your problem. You, you are you are not you are now not paying the Fulani well to Greece. You are not paying them well. Because you are looking for cheap labor. Now, those ones that you are paying and you have given guns to, is the same way when you give guns to police officers and you are not paying them well. What do you think they will start doing on the side? And if you banish those ones, you secure your society, your community, it's as simple as that. Now, the moment where the problem starts arising, which is where I want you to follow me to, is that the moment Sunday Boho began to say, Amaja, Amagba, Dua Republic. That is when it starts ringing like a political statement. And I will explain. I will explain. The moment Toti Sawipe, you run us in part. You run us in part. As my body, as you want to divide the country. If everybody supported you, and not saying me, I want to do a republic. I simply want the first, the fake amalgamation to be reversed. I've always said it. But I cannot lie to you that this one will achieve it. No. Igbo's capacity, you cannot rest that kind of deep politics on his shoulder. Except you just want to go the air of it. That man can do well to focus on pushing out. You cannot build on that effort after maybe he has achieved it for about consec six consecutive months. But at a clean the southwest, we have cleaned southwest completely and stomped full and headsmen out. You cannot start saying, okay, we can use this to start rallying the political movement. Oh, you don't want to, yeah, because even breaking the country is a political movement. If you like, argue because you don't like the word politics. But you can't, if you have to go back to the country, you have to go to the republic. Two agendas, the impossible at the time, you will not be able to achieve either of the two at the end of the day. You won't be able to achieve the two at the end of the day. Any of the two, Eliri. Let Sunday Boho stop and not forcing it. Let him focus on stomping out X Men. He will get massive support. Let other people continue to organize underneath for the other agitation. At some point, you can now collaborate, but let him focus on this one and finish it. Maybe give yourself like three months ultimatum, three months period to achieve this clear goal. Emma, define it. Emma, we're clean. We, we are moving like this, like this, like this. But about the comedy, you will not achieve any of the two. You can't achieve any of the two. Because the moment the second one begun, begins to play in this dimension, that second one, which is Agba the Dual Republic, the moment that one joins it, it's finished. Because your own Yoruba brothers who are in politics, who are invested a lot already for 2023, mm? your own Yoruba brothers will not join the war against you. They will now join the war. At that point, you are no longer fighting Fulani. You will not be, eh, Fulani is not our problem. Our Yoruba, eh, Yoruba Runu. Now you call Sam. Be organized. Don't look. That's why I said these people who don't know. I've been part of struggle for long ago. And I know how it works. So those of you who just came, who just joined today, who just were just using the emotion to be riding on. You, do, you will just be pushing this man to what he cannot, what he will not be able to achieve. Let us give this man the focus, the target of helping to stomp out Fulani heads, Fulani bandits who are kidnapping. And let us flush those ones. That is a mission. That is a, a project that, that can be defined. 
And I said it before, but as 2023 is approaching, do you know what they will do to him? The same people around him, not normal low. Because at the point, they will then begin to withdraw their own people around him. Let me tell you. Okay, I, I don't want to mention names and I don't want to really go deep. But those of you who have been following will know that a day after I predicted that Yorubas will attack Sunday Bo, they went to burn his house. And it is it is figurative that they did not burn his current house, that they went to burn his old house to tell him that we we that are your foundation, your basis. Now we they tell you to make you look your back. Aroko no queen you back. I don't want to make enemies for him or with him. But did you know, for instance, I saw some video, I saw a video yesterday where uh, um, Saeed Oshupa went to greet him at home. And I learned that, I'm not listening to it, but I learned that Saeed Oshupa has released even another song for Iboho now. Let me tell you. When the chips are down, you will see that it's only this man that will be remaining. Shebi, uh, I don't want to do some things, but let me just give you hint. Just one. I'll just use this one example. But I'm not also saying that it should create an image to you. Shebi, two days ago, Sunday Boho made a video saying that he has never met Ojudu. They played the politics on him, he did not get it. He has never met Ojudu. He doesn't know him. Who is he? Yeah, Ojudu. Yeah. It is, we meet people every day. Sometimes we forgot who you have met. Sometimes you don't even, you may have not even met them directly, but they may be in the company of people who came with you or that you met together. But they know the facts surrounding what you are doing. But let me tell you, did you know that Oshopa Said was the one who went to perform on Ulo Lokori for Ojudu when Ojudu was contesting in the Kitty State. It's still on YouTube. Google it. Because I did DNA. No, it's on YouTube. It's on, go check it now. You can just Google maybe something like Oshopa performs at Ojudu rally. Just Google it. See, all these people, eh, when politics comes calling, they will identify their respective you know, clients and withdraw. Yeah, let us all praise him, but give him a defined task. Stomp out headsmen. Don't let Sunday Igboho go political with this thing. Otherwise, he will not achieve any of the two at the end of the day. Now, headsmen are robbing along Lagos, Lagos Bini Expressway. According to this person now, of course, we all know that that one has become irregular. I even met somebody yesterday who came back from Hong Kong. He said in December he was also kidnapped. I paid 2.5 million naira to get released. I wanted to interview him. He said, No, let me go back first. When I return, I will grant you the interview. Say, but for now, I'm still afraid. He showed me videos and pictures of when he came, when they released him. So we know that these things are happening. But rather than focus on that one and stomp this thing out, you are politicizing it. And you are not ready for 2023. How? You can't talk politics and not be ready for 20. They are distracting you. They are simply distracting you. So that by the time... Let me tell you what they will do on election day for you. If he's around. Though. If he's around. Let me tell you what they will do. They will take soldiers. They won't... They won't they won't hurt him. They won't, be, they won't even touch him. They won't even enter his house. They won't arrest him. They'll just form square around this area. Soldiers here. Soldiers at the junction of the front. Soldiers at the... Just to make sure he doesn't step out. Auto house arrest. Just for till the election will be over. Auto. That's what they'll do. I don't believe in Nigeria, uh, Tino China, because I don't understand the meaning of all these questions. I've told you from the beginning, I've always said it every day. I want the ethnics to be independent. 
But I'm also saying that the strategies you are employing is too emotional. I will not achieve it. How can you not get simple? Shegun, can you advise Shore to stop revolution now? Is Shore doing a revolution? Is Shore doing a revolution? No, ask yourself, is Shore doing a revolution? That one is not a revolution now. Do you want me to talk explicitly on what Shore is doing? And how he is only wasting some time. I'm not saying he's completely wasting the time, but so far, he's at least is because what he said he wants to do is to disrupt the politics. I think to some extent he tried on that. He defined what he wanted to do. Disrupt the politics. And he did it. And at the end of the day, let me help Akondi Olaide because I know there are many people who went to school, but unfortunately. You know, but what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this: if you want to fight war, define the war. Don't just waste people's times. If you want to fight war, define it. Nobody wants to say you just keep poor people, and at the end of the day, they go still do their election. Nothing will happen. That's what because at the end of the day, what I'm predicting to you is that. They will still have their war. They will still have their election. And you would have wasted your time. By the time you realize that the election will still happen and you are still not achieving your republic, it will be too late for you to start organizing. Shola and I don't know what school you went to, but I've not said you should do any revolution. Somebody asked me, and asked, somebody asked whether I believe in Shola's revolution. I gave answer. Shola and that is why sometimes I always tell people, when you were at school, when you are in classroom, don't be pressing your phone. Don't be chatting with your girlfriend. When you are in... Simple thing I just said now, you confuse yourself. But at any rate, at any rate, all these activities, my advice to Sunday Bo and those who are pushing him, because it's anytime, most of the people pushing him are not even in Nigeria. They are just online, ranting. Ah, we know we agree. When the chips are down, Sunday Bo will be the people who made him, not you. And those ones are interested in 2023. I won't say more than that. Then as for revolution, my point is simple. My point is simple. And I'll start with the NSAS protests. I am aware. I am aware. That, for instance, during the answers, some people who did not even join you to protest are going to be the biggest beneficiaries of the protest. Because while you were busy on the field, they were, they were busy organizing the protesters, calling them to one side, ah, good one, buying them water, buying them drinks, buying them this, doing all that. Okay. At the end of the day, they call them together. Do you know the people behind the YDP they formed? They are already calculating how to make gains to harvest your energies at the end such protest. Secondly, while you are doing all of these things, those that want to, they are already calculating how to harvest all these energies. So why not have, why not organize your energies by yourself? Focus on stomping out X Men. Give yourself three months period. Organize it very well. Today we are flushing oil. Tomorrow we are flushing Ogun. Next we are flushing this. Next we are flushing. Let me tell you how more political it is. And they are deliberately creating the confusion. On those says they are flushing, they are using Amoteco to flush X Men out of the forest. AKT, the neighbor, is saying they are welcome. Ogun has not really made any definite statements. They, they are just trying to play. And you are fighting X Men and you want to do a republic at the same time. So let me respond to. In case some, because I understand some people joined late. Therefore, I need to respond to specific questions for those who are confused. 
Cholanke said you feel to read out main point of my comment, but go ahead insulting. You we started by insulting now. You did not make points. And one thing about me is I rate people based on the points they make. I don't I don't rate you based on how you insult me. If you give me insults, uh -uh, it's, it's natural now. I give you back. If you bring points, if you have better points to make, I'll I'll, I'll engage with you based on the points. Anna, what is your point? All of us already know Nigeria is a scam. What is your point? Make points. I mean, make challenging. Don't be ranting what you already know. You understand? All those ones, they are cliche. We use an anthem. We already know Nigeria is a scam. Tinubu is a scam. We know. Uh, Atiku is an idiot. Anything you want to say, we already... All of them, we know. We know all of those ones. Yeah. But the question is, what are we organizing? What are we doing? And don't get distracted. Let me tell you, anyone who wants Fulani should welcome them. Igwe, that is Igwe. I'm sure this person is in Thailand. And is, I'm not sure it's a Euro. I think the person is Igbo. You see? And yet, Nigeria is a scam. And yet, Fulani is your problem. And yet, you can't face your government. The ones who are enabling and backing them. It is hypocrisy or cowardice. See, that would be true. That uh, you don't want to face your governor. You don't want to face the speaker of your house. You don't want to face your senator. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. But you want to face another ethnic, another tribe. And I've said it before. If you start this war, the people you claim to hate, you will not face them in the war. You will not face them in the war. And they will not die. It is ordinary people that you will finish on the streets. You just be killing people you see based on their ethnic. You kill them. And by the time you are finished, by the time you finish the war, Olana Yefemi, just mention the specific thing I said that made me disappoint you. Don't just come and you disappoint me. That is not how to talk. You have just insulted, you have just showed that you are shallow. Ah, you said this though, and I don't agree for the following reason. That's how to argue. That is how to know people who did not even go to school. You see? They just come here and sort themselves and go back. They have not made any point. And they have not taken anything out of what you are saying. Fuck Google see if there is what is coming for me. Yeah, come. Let's see who survives. <laughs> M U M U. See, let me tell you, Dangote will not die in the war. Sunday Bo will not die in the war. Tinubu will not die in the war. Okay? All these people that you claim are your problems, you will not face them in the war. It is people you don't know because you don't know them that you will be killing on the streets. So if you really want to fight, your government is who you should face. The question is who is giving guns to them? Who is backing them? Who is giving? The other day you heard that Garba Shehu is saying uh, they have rights to do anything. When Miyati Allah was making statements that if you try anything against us, we will make sure that we, 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 we finish you. Garba Shehu, presidential spokesperson, you, shot, you avoided that one. You avoided him. When your governor is saying they are all welcome and nobody has tried to stamp them out, you avoided him. I don't understand what you are doing. This one, at the end of the day, all these are just distractions. You are not ready for it. You are not ready. What is my point? What did you? What can you make out of what I've been saying this morning? No, let me yeah, let me know what you understand first. Paid mouthpiece of politician. Who among them am I paid to speak for? Who among them? I'll give you my number. Somebody that wants to call me. Because somebody called me last night. I was trying to say I was wrong and this that that's my number, my WhatsApp on the screen. Call me after the show. 
so that you can ask specific questions. Because I don't really know what you guys don't want to know. Face your government. You are facing poor, poor abokis. People that cannot face you when you confront them. Now that won't be your problem. Your government is still making is still making statements that are inciting and provocative. You can't face those ones. So I asked you the other day, I said the speaker, the speaker of the of the or your status of assembly is from a barapa where that crisis happened. Have you faced him? Have you asked him question? Have you asked him who are the owners of this cows? Who gave them guns? You are afraid, just simply say it. You are afraid of the You know them. You know the owners of this cows. You are just afraid. You are facing the cheap tribe. You are facing the cheap tribe. If you are a hero, if you are truly a warrior, face the people who gave them guns. And confront them, challenge them. They will run. But why are you afraid? Is it because they pay you to? You know them one on one. They, they, they spray you. You spray money at party together. Is that not? You better start telling yourself the truth. Not be anybody be mumu. Tell yourself the truth. Military generals are cow owners. Military generals, do you know the meaning of soldiers follow Aboki them? Soldiers follow Aboki to Ogun State. And we're beating people who did not allow them to graze. Then the question is, who are the cow owners? Who gave them the guns? Who gave them the cows? You are not asking questions. You are facing a eh, full and yes men. Are your own brothers not kidnapping? I'm not defending any full and I'm saying, stop being childish stop being petty if you want to fight 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 the right course if you want to fight fight the right course who is a fulani who is a fulani i'm a yoruba boy i don't even have any fulani friend but when they have paid you money to come online and come and be nyanin apata you just abuse somebody for no reason. Yeah, most, I, no, I, I'm coming down. If you know me very well, I'm even coming down. Because the fact remains, I've said it that this year, if not to insult people before they will get brain, I go insult. If some people, if you have not insulted them, they don't have brain. So I must insult people this year. If you bring insult, I'll give it back to you. Shelef Bonnie. They give you money. Ah, Chen, sir. Honorable, sir. You know, sir. That your honorable has over 200 cows. Have you asked him question? Who gave guns to these cow grazers? What is a cow owner? In fact, he's a major cow owner. But you don't want to talk to him. I'm not even talking about Buhari. I'm talking about your own state house of assembly members. Your state house of assembly members, your chairman, your local government chairman, your all boss, your car bases, who is buying them those expensive cars? Have you faced them? Have you faced them? House of assembly members, your senators, how many cars do they have? Have you faced them? The military general, you always salute in your yeah, Chansa, Chansa, that navy, where they always use tinted glass, they, they drive past, they chase everybody for street. Have you asked him how many cows he has? Have you asked them how many cows they have? And have you asked them who gave guns to the cow grazers? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to go and face Aboki? Because you are afraid. Or because you know the jealous one people here, you don't know how to face the car owners, and you want to break country. Is how to break it? To even break this country, you must have to face the people who are the car owners, not the car grazers. Yeah, somebody is a hero, hero. Yeah, he's a hero. We thank him for at least helping to mitigate or to stop the killings. But if you really want to fight this thing to the finish, face the car owners. They are your politicians that you are always twirling. Go to party and you'll be spraying money. They, they will come and say, Ah, Babani, Babati, they, they carry Guinea. They are your problem. 
but you are afraid to face them. I know, I know, I know that most of them are paid, I know. And I'm here to give it to them. Hot, hot. I'm here to give it to them hot, hot. Lenny, whoever has to be insulted to have brain will be insulted. These guys are using you to play politics. Politics is nothing in play. Diverting your attention. Diverting your emotion. You are talking about full and heads men. But you are hating them when they enter your street. Yeah. Why not concrete your revolution movement? Revolution is ongoing now. Shore is doing his own. We have Shore too has his own. Shore too has his own, you know. Uh, you know, Shore is one kind of person that this is what he wants to do. You can't advise him. Uh -huh. You can't advise Shore too. So, <laughs> yeah, I said he wants to disrupt the politics, and we are still watching. As much as we can support him, we will support him. As much as we can criticize, we will criticize. The idea is at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what we want to achieve is that we want to we want to all have results. But this one way that they do, I no go lie to you. Let us all face stamping out and it's me. But that you want to use it to achieve the dual republic, then you must have to face the car owners who are your friends in politics. Tell me what you have done for the killing of my your people. Excuse me. That person, Igwe, you are from which states? And don't lie. Don't lie. The politician you respect the most is a cow owner. Who is he? Because when we are talking against those people now, and I go come here, they abuse us. What have I done against? Uh, the other day, I have friends in APC. The other day when I said, the other day when I said uh, uh, Tinubu as you know, he's also he's playing politics too much with all these things. He said hey, when they killed Fashionati's daughter, Tinubu came out and said, We are the cows. But you still love Tinubu. Nami you walk on the show must be against. Hypocrites, Jatija. It's a poor you. Hypocrites now. All of now. Hypocrites. Now you be. All of now. See, let us focus on our politicians. They are the ones distracting us with all these things. They are the ones distracting us with all these things. So if the Speaker of your House of Assembly is in your streets and you are not asking questions and is looking at all these things happening, your elected representatives are there. You are, you are, you are keeping those ones. You are, you know, you are living there. Your governor is there. You are covering that one. Your senator is there. You are because they are doing small small empowerment. They are buying wheelbarrow for you. They are buying. Uh, Errol Lotta, they are saying oh, God is using them for us. You are you are ignoring those ones. You, are, you don't want to face them. Now full and yes men. Now them good. Now because of those ones, you won't break your country. <laughs> By the time you have your republic finish, and they put them to you, say you're not going to face the problems you have created. Because if you are solving a problem with this kind of ignorance, you end up creating bigger problems that you can't solve again. So the final answer, the final answer, they are using all these things to distract you while they are planning, while they are planning their 2023 game. So keep your eyes on it. Final answer as I close. All these energies that you are using to say you want, uh, you want to do, I want it too. But whether you want revolution or you want to contest in 2023 and throw all these people out, or you want to break Nigeria, any of these things that you want, the final answer is the same problem that you have to face, your government. But for as long as you are still supporting persons in government and you are fighting for the dual republic, you are only wasting your time. 
And I hope this makes sense to anybody now. Whether you want revolution now, now government is not going to face because not them. But the reason why we need revolution. Whether you want to break Nigeria, now them you go see face because not them. No one made Nigeria break. They are busy with 2023 politics. Whether you want anything that you want, hmm? Stop wasting your time by saying full and is the problem to break Nigeria. Mm. Your politician, the one with the spray money for an party, you want to say bye bye. Now, because of that one, you now that one gone, you must face. Now, that one, now you must face. So, it is cheap. It is either you are, you are a coward, you are afraid, or you are a hypocrite. Either of the two. That is why you are covering your politician and you are fighting the other tribes. That's my point to you. I leave you with Ojoro by Larry Safari. Bye for now. Yeah, 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 Anybody will try anything to support your life. Not the same person way go they try anything to take your wife. Oh, oh, oh. But even when you try anything good to change your life, the same person way go they stab you for back and with your knife. Oh, oh, oh. Them still hold me down. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh. Delay all of us, oh, oh, oh. Don't they then hold me down? Hey, my dummy, do do Then they do, oh, he don't do, oh, go do 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 He don't they then hold us down? Hey, my dad, why do do Then they do, oh, he don't do, oh, go do 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 All the people where they make life terribly tough and hard for us, yeah. Now the same politician where they come.